Tampa, Florida. Cigar City. Home of the champions. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a second Super Bowl title. Rich in deeply rooted history. This is Tampa 2024. Ebor's always had this very unique vibe about it. It's always had a very rich history. So what you're saying is, it's old. No, it's a, it's a profound cultural scene. I think what he's trying to say is, it's old. Look, if Ebor and downtown were to come together, downtown could definitely use a little bit of Ebor. Ebor could use a lot more of downtown. Wait, 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 no, no, look. This is how it's actually gonna happen. Introducing the Gasworks Project in Tampa. Now, this is a significant 50-acre mixed-use development located between Ybor City, the Channel District, and downtown Tampa. This project is really set to transform Tampa's urban environment. Uh, it'll feature around 5,000 residential units supplemented by nearly 650,000 square foot of office and retail space. Now, a key component to this development is the inclusion of 325 affordable housing units, really emphasizing the project's commitment to a diverse and inclusive community. A standout feature of Gasworks is the design as a transit-oriented community. This will include an addition of nearly seven miles of new roads, sidewalks, and walking trails, really all aimed at promoting a pedestrian and cyclist-friendly environment. And the project integrates a new stop for the Tico streetcar, really enhancing the urban connectivity. The development's name pays tribute to the past as a gas production facility, and the design respects the historical significance of Tampa's Afro-Cuban community. Phase one of Gasworks includes the construction of over 700 residential units. The overall development plan aims to yield approximately 5.9 million square foot of new space, marking a major step in Tampa's urban redevelopment. Gaswork is envisioned to be a lively community hub where residents can enjoy modern living in a historically rich environment, fostering a sense of connectivity and community right here in the heart of Tampa. Who would have ever thought that a sidewalk would be that ribbon on all of Tampa's success? Well, it's not just any old sidewalk. This is the river walk, and as wildly successful as it's been, I'm ready for 2.0. That thing needs to go. You know what's made the Riverwalk so successful is that they did not have to take all of this shopping and dining and retail and try to squeeze it into this one area for people to enjoy. You have a beautiful boardwalk that takes you from one side of the river down to the other and you can enjoy the amenities as you please. Well, now they're taking $30 million and they're expanding the west side of the river. And they're really wanting to make sure that they're improving on what they already have. So with this one, you know how there's parts of the river walk where you can't ride scooters or you can't ride your bike and it just kind of makes the flow a little choppy? Well, they want to make sure that they have on the road enhancements for people that are riding bikes and even better crosswalks for pedestrian safety. Now, there is going to be three new residential towers within the west side of the Riverwalk, and they're gonna call this the Riverwalk District. You can expect this to break ground about early 2024. There's also something called the Rome Yard Development. There's gonna be approximately a thousand homes with 600 of them being affordable housing units, which I think is great for the city. There's also gonna include dining and retail and a workforce training center and a great lawn and an amphitheater. All of this is gonna be about a 15 minute walk if you're living within this general area. Now, I think this is going to really, one, improve the river walk in itself, but two, I think it's just going to expand downtown to the west side of the river. But what do you think? You wanna know what everybody loves? 
it's food. Do you want to know what's better than food? It's new food and wine. So here's a list of new restaurants coming to Tampa 2024 that I'm most excited about. Let's do it. Alter Ego, a new cocktail lounge opening on the ground floor of Water Street's Asher Building featuring a DJ booth and sleek monochromatic design. Ash, an Italian-inspired restaurant by Proper House Group located on the ground floor of Water Street's Asher Building offering an immersive dining experience with an extensive outdoor space. The Attic at 1920 Ebor, a new location for the Attic Cafe known for live music, coffee drinks, and pastries opening in Ebor City. Cheeseology, a unique establishment in historic Ebor City where guests can learn the art of cheese making. Chill Bros Ice Cream, an expansion of the popular ice cream brand opening a new location inside of Armature Works in Tampa Heights. Green Lane, a health-focused restaurant with a drive-through featuring fresh salad bowls and wraps. The H Mediterranean, a diverse menu prepared by internationally experienced chefs set to open in Tampa, offering a blend of Mediterranean flavors. La La Karaoke Bar and Restaurant, a themed karaoke venue with dedicated rooms for group events opening off of South Howard. Pepper Lunch, a Japanese experimental fast casual restaurant known for its interactive dining experience. Now there are way more restaurants opening in Tampa, but of these, I want to know which one are you most excited about? Take a look at this. You have the purple skies bouncing over the skyline. This is Tampa's picture, but it's not done yet. There's a few new things that are coming this year that I know you'll love. One thing that I've always adored about Tampa is its skyline, right? You have this very nice downtown with the water and the river, but then you have these actual high risers that are tracing the sky from everything that's going on beneath you. And in 2024, there's a lot of new development happening that's going to add to the skyline. And here are four of them that I'm actually most excited about. So there's two apartment complexes. You have X Tampa, which is 28 stories, and you have the arts and entertainment residences, which is a 31 story tower. Now the other two, these are my two favorites right here. One Tampa is going to be 42 stories, adding 225 luxury condo residences. Now when I say luxury, I mean as luxury as you can possibly get. There's gonna be penthouses, floor to ceiling windows, frameless glass railings, a pool, a fitness center, private dining, and you're just gonna be a block away from the Riverwalk. Now my favorite addition that's expected to finish in 2026, but they've already broken ground, is Pendry Tampa. Now this is 37 stories. This is a luxury hotel and condominiums. This is a sexy building, very, very nice looking. Gorgeous views of the water, and the best part about it all is you're right there above the river walk. Like you have everything around you. So I'm excited to see one, the growth in Tampa, but two, how this is going to add to the visual of Tampa skyline. This is the new Tampa, and if you're looking to make it your home, my team and I would love to assist you with that. You can reach us at team at morefla.com or simply just text the number in the description below. I would love to stick around, but as long as you're subscribed, we're gonna see each other again. So until next time.